Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For the cheapest coins anywhere, check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. far my most expensive gameplay of the year this gameplay cost over three million coins to do i do want to give a shout out to exotic for being a part of the noti gang if you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are sub to the channel turn notification on and comment down below noti gang also guys don't miss out on the joe burrow 0.5 total yard special live right now on underdog for the 1 p.m sunday games tomorrow if you guys sign up using code zerk you'll get this and it'll double your first deposit up to five hundred dollars also today guys we do have a bunch of college football football games which i have picks up for i will have some ufc picks up later today as well follow me over on twitter for my picks and then late tonight i will post up my nfl picks as you guys can see though we do have patrick willis right here guys he cost me 1.8 million coins okay ridiculous i'm selling him back as soon as i'm done with this gameplay but he has 89 speed 86 excel uh, up to 91 zone from my bills head coach given the plus one zone 90 block shed uh he also does have 80 catching 93 jumping 91 change of direction the card is crazy and of course the thing that makes him so expensive is the fact that he gets this ability right here lurk artist for those of you guys that don't know this gives you improved and spectacular picks for lurking defenders essentially for one ap you get lurker and pick artist and you get like some crazy animations and it actually makes middle linebackers usable which if you don't know why you actually want to use them they're so much better in the run game they are just so much better in the run game at block shedding at really reading and you know jumping pretty much going for uh, a run play there so patrick willis definitely gonna be amazing to have out there and then we also have justin fields right here i did buy this one i was not one of the first 1000 people to actually get to justin fields but he has 91 speed 91 excel a uh, 93 throw power uh, i do have a plus two throw power strategy card that i had to get in madden 23 you guys can't get anymore it's from rookie premier promo you can't get anymore and then uh the plus one i think is from charles cross or is it creed humphrey I think it might be Creed Humphrey. It's one of the two. Cross or Creed Humphrey? I think it's Humphrey that gives plus one throw power. But then he has 92 short, 86 medium, 88 deep. Uh, this card is really good. 88 juke, 80 break tackle. Cost me 800,000 coins. So we are running gift wrapped on him, Gunslinger. And the reason why this one is so expensive and why it goes uh, for 800K and as well, you know, first 1,000 people, what's special? He gets fearless. Only quarterback in the game to get fearless. It is 4 AP though. So that in Gunslinger is already 6 AP. May as well just put everything on him and make him all 7 AP for the offense. And finally, guys, we have Darrell Revis, 5'11. He has 90 speed, 87 Excel, 92 man, 93 zone again plus one zone from the bills head coach plus two zone from the strategy card to cornerbacks uh and then taking a look down here like his block shed 61 uh 60 tackling i'm running pick artist and universal coverage let's get into this underdog fantasy is the easiest way to play fantasy sports and my personal favorite thing to do on the app are the pickums now with the pickum feature on underdog fantasy you guys can choose between two to five players and up to 20 times your money on one single game however if you guys use the insurance feature even if you lose on a pick you can still win now that's not it though they also just now added these new scorcher picks which can actually increase your multiplier up to 100 times and these give you massive payout boosts and massive multipliers now not only is there nfl to do on underdog though guys there are also drafts to do there are mlb picks you can make nba college football a ton of stuff to check out so whatever you're into underdog probably has it for you if you guys are watching right now before week six of the nfl season you can sign up right now using code zerk and get this joe burrow 0.5 total yard special for 1 p.m no matter what time you guys are watching this video you can sign up right now using code zerk and you will get a 0.5 total yard special and as of right now guys code zerk is back to 500 deposit match on your very first deposit so sign up right now using code zerk and they will double your first deposit up to 500 and you'll get a 0.5 total yard special check out underdog fantasy all right so let's get into this as you guys can see that's actually my opponent's top three so we must have a Jets theme team in my top three all right so we've got Justin Fields out here and as I showed you guys I have all seven AP on this card so uh yeah he is going to be literally our entire offense as right there first play that's not good all right so second down in 26 now that was not a great first play since I just got that penalty unfortunately so here though we do have Tyreek Hill open so we're gonna go ahead and hit him in the flats pick up a big gain all right fourth down and nine coming up this is not great and we got to pick this up so I'm gonna look to go to Kyle Pitts and that's a great ball good catch that was a great ball right there and a great catch as here we might look to go deep 
And nope, we got Tyreek Hill open. We'll throw that right there underneath. As you guys see with Gunslinger, kind of makes every QB's release the same. In case you didn't know that, essentially putting Gunslinger on a QB just makes their releases pretty much every QB in the game. Uh, so yeah, his release is going to be pretty solid as we do have Bo Jackson open. A couple of yards, we'll take that. Now, of course, one thing that makes Field so good is being able to scramble with him. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to, as I don't know what this guy's D-line is doing here, but we're going to try to take off with Justin Fields, hit the edge on this read option and break a tackle. Now, if you run like a lot of read options, trust me, this Justin Fields card this car could get pretty crazy here as we're going to go underneath Tyreek Hill again a couple yards. But if you run a lot of read options, you could definitely get to work here with this Justin Fields as once again, he is running this QB contain here. Don't really see much. Going to try to take off though. Fields hit a little juke move. We'll go down. He's definitely got the speed to take off at any time. Third down and two coming up here. I'm just going to straight up run the football as Bo Jackson's going to get that first. Okay, so we're down to the 13. We obviously want to try to get a touchdown right here. Tyreek, fight for some extra yards. Okay, second down and one. We just need a touchdown. All right, it's that easy. It's that easy. All right, so let's see what we can do out here, guys. We are up 7-0, and now we have Patrick Willis. Ooh, if I would have been in position, you would have seen some crazy stuff. If I would have been in position right there, that would have been a pretty crazy as here he's going to go underneath to Pickens. Second down and six coming up. Once again, this guy's coming out in just a lot of five wide, which here he's going to be audible in. Okay, is he actually going to run it though? No, he's not. Second and six, and he's not going to run it. We get a hit. All right, third down and six now. I really want to get a pick. I really, really want to get a user pick and Joey Porter with a drop. That is awesome. The dropped interception has been something special. I'll say that. Fourth down and six coming up, and he literally threw it directly to Derwin James as Derwin could have a pick six. We'll go down, though. I want to see more Justin Fields. So let's start off with another read option right here and try to bounce this to the outside. Try to hit a little juke move here. Juke back to the outside, and we fumble. That's on me. I tried to do too much. All right, so that one's definitely on me. I uh, tried to do a little bit too much there with Justin Fields. I wanted to get, like, a highlight play uh, for the video. Yeah, that, that did not work out. But you know what is what it is. I'm going to look out over the middle. That would have been a pick. It literally highlighted exactly where he was going to throw there because we have the home field advantage or whatever. We have the, you know, momentum on our side. Yeah, that would have been so crazy if I could finally get a pick. I really just want to showcase to you guys exactly what this Lurk Artist ability can do because it is pretty crazy, the animations that you can get. Uh, and especially when you have such a good user like Patrick Willis. As here, that's going to be incomplete. Second down and 10 coming up here on the 26-yard line. And he's probably going to go underneath. Yep, he's going to go underneath to Buddha. Can we get a fumble? All right, third down and one. I'm kind of expecting a run here. And he ran an RPO. All right, good, uh, good play call right there as he tries to juke back inside. Oh, he's going to go deep. Buddha Baker. Buddha Baker. How is that not picked? And Revis was there. Buddha Baker could add an interception right there. And also Darrell Revis was right there as he's going to go over the middle to Garrett. All right, down to the 36 now he's driving down the field but we just gotta make one play man let me get an interception i just want an interception with willis so bad as good play jimmy graham all the way down to the two and i already know this is gonna be an rpo right here and derrick henry's in all right so we ended up scoring there we only have two minutes left to drive down the field as we do have tyree kill open what a throw that was pretty crazy. A pretty crazy throw right there from Justin Fields. I mean, just a beautiful, beautiful dot as Bo Jackson here is going to get the first down, or maybe not. Second and inches coming up. Once again, another read option. Look at those blocks, and we're gone. All right, so Justin Fields showing off that speed right there. I mean, that's exactly what you kind of get the card for, right? If you're going to get by Justin Fields, if you're going to get the card, you get him for the fearless and for the speed. Second down and 10 coming up here. I so badly want to get an interception with Patrick Willis for you guys like i so so badly do as see now if i was able to animate and jump that i, I would have been superman if i somehow would have animated and grabbed that for an interception yeah that would have been pretty ridiculous but that would have been so so cool 48 seconds left here though uh let's see what he's gonna try to go to maybe something underneath and yep there he goes garrett wilson derwin try to get the fumble i will let this guy go ahead and you know take the underneath stuff if he wants to go underneath i will let you Take your two yards. All right, 25 seconds left here. He's going to look go back across the middle, isn't he? I'm going to send some pressure at him. How did we let Derek get open? Why did the other guy blitz? Not really sure why the other guy decided to blitz right there. That was in coverage on Derek Henry, but he did. As my opponent's now down to the 16-yard line. Got to look out over the middle here. Nothing really seems to open. 
Derek once again is getting open. All right, second down and 10 coming up now. And wow, Jimmy Graham, how did he get that wide open? And now with only seven seconds left here, guys, it's kind of risky because if something happens, you know, my opponent has to hold on to the ball. This might uh, end up taking us to halftime here. So I'm going to send the blitzer again. Every time that I send the spy, whoever I have in the flats, they're coming too. All right, so the game is tied heading into half here. Unfortunately, you know, every single time that I'm sending the QB spy, which for those of you guys that don't know how to do that, I always get asked that whenever that happens in gameplays. You click down the right stick, it sends the spy. Uh, it's also sending whoever is in the flats. So he's just getting wide open every single time and hitting the running back. All right, so at the 39-yard line now, I'm gonna have to start using contains, I guess, and hopefully we can actually just keep him in the pocket trying to force a fumble. All right, so now he's down to the 50-yard line here. Gotta watch out for the flats again. Gonna look out for for that we have a QB contain where is the contain where did the contain go on this play like how is this dude moving the ball on me right now I don't understand it defense in this game right now is just atrocious like I have a contain there couldn't tell you what happened to it could not tell you what happened to my QB contain that I set up on that play as he's down to the 22 yard line get a motion over Garrett Okay, he's probably looking to go to like a corner and Woodson's there to get a tackle. All right, and now third down and goal here. There's no way this is an RPO. Like he's actually just gonna throw the football, right? There's no way this is gonna be an RPO. And I'm gonna look out for that underneath Joey Porter making up for his dropped interception from earlier. And I'm telling you guys, Joey Porter has literally been one of the best cornerbacks that I've used the entire year. We're gonna take this back. I never thought I'd see the day that Jimmy Graham was gonna go for 100 yards on me. And that card is terrible. That card is absolutely terrible, but somehow, some way, yeah, Jimmy Graham is absolutely torching me right now as he's not gonna be open here. He might, oh wow, now he's gonna be open. I cannot believe this. I, I cannot believe this. I kind of expect another RPO here, but instead he's just gonna quick fire out to the flats. Jimmy Graham is having a day on me. I gotta say, Jimmy Graham absolutely cooking me is not something I thought I would uh, see this year, but somehow, some way he is. But we had an incredible kick return. We are down already to the 32 yard line as I'm gonna try to scramble a little bit, see what we can do. Look at us juking out Eric Perry in the open field. That was crazy. Yeah, that was pretty crazy right there. That was absolutely crazy as we are down now to the 12 yard line. I'm gonna look to go to Tyreek Hill in the flats right here. Hit a little juke inside, couple yards. I gotta give it to my opponent. He played some really, really good defense right there, guys. And because it is, you know, a tie game, I gotta take my three. All we have to do is make one play. That's all we need. We need one play. Someone please just do something out here, man. We've got Revis. I'd love to see him make a play as well on the ball. That would be uh, really nice for the gameplay. But how about we get an interception with my almost 2 million coin card as he is going to try Darrell Revis. Derrick Henry just teabagged Darrell Revis. So Derrick Henry just teabagged Darrell Revis right there and just, just caught it on top of him. All right. Not what you want to see as Kyle Pitts is going to get open here. Hit a double juke right there. Try to stiff arm too. Now we are 10 of 11 right now with Justin Fields. Like we're doing really, really good with Fields. We also have been able to scramble, you know, pretty well as that was a really weird animation right there. This could be the game. If I don't get the first down on this play, this could be the game right here. Fourth down and six coming up. And I got to try it. I got to try it. Tyreek Hill, that may have been a bad idea. That was just stupid. The safety was there. I'll be honest, man. I don't know what I was doing there. I really don't know. That was just dumb. A very, very dumb throw right there. I think I'm just completely thrown off by the way this dude is able to just somehow move the ball on me this game. It's completely throwing me off. Second down and 10, though. We need to make a play on defense to make up for me making just very, very poor plays on offense here. As once again, I know he wants to go over the middle. We get a sack with Micah. Let's go. All right, and on third and 19, guys, I'm sending a blitz at him. I am sending a blitz at this guy. We have Patrick Willis coming in, and Patrick Willis with the pressure. Patrick Willis with the pressure right there. Love to see it as, dude, my, like, receivers... They're getting bullied by this guy's corners. I, I just can't believe it. Like, is the Jets theme team corners, like, that good? Because take a look at my receivers. They're getting pressed out of their mind right now. As we're going to be able to run this football, though. Bo Jackson, great run. Out to the 31-yard line now. Looking to go underneath. We have Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts, wide open. DK, great block. All right, now this guy looks like he might be sending a blitz at me here. But I'm going to try to hand this off to Bo. Hit the outside. Bo Jackson, 
down to the two and now we need a touchdown i have never needed a touchdown out of justin fields more in my entire life here as we're down to the two yard line let's go fields let's go see if we can hit we have two people wide open kyle pitts all right guys so 45 seconds left we need to hold this guy to field goal range last drive patrick willis made an incredible incredible play to get a pressure on the qb uh, and force a pick so now we just got to do the same exact thing and i think we'll be okay as i'm gonna try to lurk over the middle here with willis and jimmy graham revis almost had a pick revis almost just had an interception right there as once again, going to look out over the middle. Oh, he's going to try to reroute. Oh, someone make a play. Revis with the interception. Darrell Revis, game-winning pick. Darrell Revis might have just got the game-sealing interception right there. We just got to pick up one first down. But hey, at least everybody in the game play now made a play. Revis got a pick. Patrick Willis got, you know, a pressure there that led to the game-sealing interception, or at least uh, the interception that let us get the game-winning drive. And on fourth down and six, guys, I am going to go ahead and punt this ball away. I'm going to try to pin my opponent uh, inside, like, the 10-yard line. Was that? Ooh, that was not a good punt yeah that was definitely not a great punt could have been way better but now with only six seconds left here let's see what he's gonna try to go to i don't think patrick willis is in for this play i don't have men actually at sub linebacker so derwin james is gonna be in here for this prevent defense but only six seconds left obviously he's got to just chuck something up see if he can get out of bounds as there is absolutely no shot he actually caught that. You guys, overall, Justin Fields, 13 to 17, two touchdowns, rushing, had six for 74 and a touchdown. The card is good, but I will say this. Uh, Fearless is four AP. It's a ton. I still think Josh Allen is the best QB in the game, in my opinion. He is mobile, so if you want to run read options, you can still do that with Josh Allen. But you also get, you know, Gunslinger for two AP, equip that on there, and then you get Hot Rod Master and Style Bowl. I still feel like he is the best. And then defensively, we had patrick willis he had three total tackles but unfortunately no interceptions can't force my opponent to throw the ball right at me is what it is you know not gonna happen every single gameplay and then as for uh where is he at darrell revis two tackles had the game ceiling interception though so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below i am going right now to sell justin fields and patrick willis but revis although i didn't like him getting teabagged by derrick henry He'll stay on the team. If you guys enjoyed this video, check out these.